In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about a story, somebody that spent millions of dollars on PPC, and they recently brought their budget down to zero. So this is what their story on what happened is. I think you can take a lot of good takeaways from this, and maybe at the end of all this, you want to change your strategy once you listen to what he has to say. He says he spent over $10 million on Amazon ads, but this month they brought their budget down to zero and this is what he went on to say that was super interesting so i thought i'd make a video about this we can um chat about it if you have any comments about this let me know what you think in the comments i would love your feedback on this okay so he says here for years they spent eight percent of the revenue on advertising it's actually pretty standard percentage that you would spend on your ads and yes it brought you it brought them top placement so they were um, showing up at the top of the search results and they saw a lift in sales so an increase in sales their a cost was below 30 percent says that um, it seemed like this was driving our business forward, but we were wrong. So here's the realization that he had. Advertising profitably was inflated by ads, not driving sales. In other words, organic customers were using ads to shop when they were going through the purchase anyway. So these were the specific problems that he was running into. I've No, I've ran into this issue myself in the past with my Amazon brand. So I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about this. So number one, product page ads. Amazon shows ads on your product pages from other relevant listings. We spent a lot for customers to click between our different listings. Organic customers would browse our catalog via similar product advertisements and Amazon ads would attribute it, of course. Okay, so you're paying for organic purchases here. It says if our ad is number one and we have the number five organic placement, Many organic customers are now buying through the ad. If you, you know, they're already searching you, they see you at the very top, that's the one they're gonna click on, right? So the sales make the campaign look overly profitable. In reality, they are inflating a cost and justifying more spend. Jeff Bezos wants that money, right? Uh, another problem, harm to the organic placement. This is where I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with him. I want to know what you guys think here. But he says, we observed organic placement tends to fall when top ad placement is paid for. It makes sense that Amazon doesn't want duplicate listings at the top of a keyword. Makes sense to me, but I don't, I don't know if this is necessarily true. It says, if, it, if this is true, it's a major dis, uh, disincentive, right? Or disincentive to paying for that placement. Of course. But I don't necessarily know if it really harms the organic placement. Only one way to find out, and that is to stop bidding for certain keywords that you're already ranking in the top, let's say five um, or even 10. Okay, so product market fit is, so this is the first solution that, he's ha that he says that he is focusing on, and that is product quality, selection, and value. That's gonna lead you to your uh, highest conversions on your listings. Listings that are struggling with organic placements need improvement. So here's an interesting quote from Jeff Bezos, he says, advertising is the price that you pay for having an unremarkable product or service. Interesting take from the man himself. Okay, so here's another part of his solution. He's saying here um, first that Amazon has a great saying, customers' trust is earned in drops and lost in buckets. I love that saying. Says this is also true for consumer brands. Simple Modern, which is his brand here, uh, drinkware sets, the it sets the bar for quality. Good, but not great products in other categories violates customer expectations and then it harms their brand. He goes on here to say that valuing repeat purchases as much as the first one leads to consumers uh, uh, um, to customers searching your brand specifically. So that's something that I totally agree with. You should be always focusing on building a brand on Amazon and focusing on that repeat customer it will totally um, skyrocket and scale your products when you focus it as a brand more than just a one-off you know product another thing he's saying here as far as solution he says no advertising on brand and keywords so we are he says we let our competitors advertise on simple modern keywords if we can't win when a customer searches for us, how can we beat com competition on a retail shelf or generic keyword? We embrace competition. It makes us have the best offering. Do you guys agree with this or not? I tend to agree on this. I have done my own test. 
of turning on turning off my PPC for branded keywords, I did not see any change in my sales uh, when I tested this. So from now on, I'm not bidding on my own branded keywords. I am brand, I am bidding on other competition keywords. So doing the reverse here, right? Another solution, deals. Unlike ad spend, deals are going to improve your listing conversion rate and placement. So this is usually the spark, the listings neat that convert well at full price, which we all know that is a way better signal for the Amazon algorithm, right? So focus on uh, on bundles and deals and that sort of thing. Okay, so here's his conclusion about all this. Our margins are intentionally low, passing incredible value to customers. So they're just focusing on on being, you know, the best price. We don't have much margin for ad dollars, which is partially why we convert so well. Eliminating Amazon advertising allows us to fuel growth, investing heavily in inventory and new products. So you can bring, uh, you know, build out your catalog there and focus on scaling sideways or expanding sideways with more products instead of vertically and trying to gain more conversions from from that ppc spend embrace competition amazon advertising is a crutch for listings that don't merit impressions by the algorithm so focus on just getting better getting your brand better getting your listings better as a brand we will either improve the product in a struggling listing or discontinue it and move on Writing this thread, I understand our strategy is brand building. 100% agree with that. PPC advertising is a part of most seller strategies, and there's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to explain what our experience was and that there is a low ad spend path. 100% agree with that. He also goes on to say that there's benefits to um, Amazon. So Amazon ads accomplish, number one, they're very highly profitable. Number two, it allows the enormous amount of marketplace sellers to pay for placement, increasing competition, which... Of course, when you're first starting out, this is highly uh, more relevant to do something like that. But in, in this particular thread, they're talking about when you already have a brand already ranking, already getting sales, right? And number three, it dilutes market share of the best sellers, making it harder to dominate a category. And as far as impacts on the customers, says the negative of advertising that, does the, that the customers are pushed towards listings that haven't earned a top placement based on merit. Well, the truth of the matter is when you're first starting out, maybe you don't have enough sales velocity, reviews, and things like that. You, you might even have the conversions, but you don't have that um, the age to your listings and things like that to be placed at the top. And I don't fully agree that you need to have time in the market to merit for you to um, rank at the very top. So I do think there is definitely a place for PBC, especially when you're first starting out or to expand e even once you're already established. I don't think that you should go to zero, but you should definitely look at some of the things that Brian's saying here in his thread in regards to, for example, the branded keywords. If you're already established for that on page one at the top, especially, then you don't need to be bidding on that. He says, Amazon built their business by earning customer trust. Leaning too far into advertising could start to unwind that. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this and what your experience has been with your Amazon PPC. Have you tested not bidding on your branded keywords and what was the result from that? Also, make sure to subscribe and like the channel here so you can get more of these videos. Talk to you later.